Like I said in my Play Choice 10 review, I'm going to review all the games that I have on my machine. Originally I was going to do most of them in one video, but I decided in the end just to split them up to make it easier on myself and also I wouldn't have to drastically cut the videos to keep them within the 10 minute YouTube time limit. Some of the games on my Play Choice 10 are not available to download on the Virtual Console yet, but I'm sure they will be eventually. So when they are eventually released, you will already have this review ready to go. So you'll already know if it's a buy or skip. Convenient for you. So what do you say we get started with a little Kung Fu? This is a port of the arcade game Kung Fu Master. The irony is not lost on me that I'm playing a port of an arcade machine on an arcade machine. I wonder if there's an arcade out there that has the two machines side to side. That'd be kind of cool. You could check out the real differences between the two. Anyways, you play as Thomas, who has come to rescue his girlfriend Sylvia from the evil Mr. X. You travel up through five levels of this really bland and long castle. I mean, seriously, who built this long hallway castle? It has no furniture, only walls and some decorations. Plus, it has to be the most inconveniently planned building ever. You can only go up to the next floor when you've traveled all the way to the other side of the hallway. Then when you get to the next floor, you have to do it all over again and go all the way to the other end of the hallway. What a pain in the <laughs> Why not have one staircase instead of four completely separate ones? I know this has to be against some fire code. Imagine if you're on the top floor and a fire breaks out. Come on, guys, we gotta get out of here. You run from one side of the room, then down the stairs, then go running across the other side of the room, then down the stairs. Sorry, I think about this stuff too much. Where was I? Oh, yeah. So your girlfriend was kidnapped. Oh, look, I was wrong. She gets to sit on the only chair in the place. At least they were keeping her comfortable. So you, as the expert kung fu artist, has decided to take on this whole place by yourself. Mr. X has employed a bunch of people to guard the place from your attack. He has people coming at you with their fists in the air. It's at this point I'd like to hope that these guys are not actual kung fu artists, since the extent of their martial arts knowledge is hugging you until you die. No, I'm not kidding. They won't hit you. They will hold you in a loving embrace until your life goes down. Aww. Lucky for you, they go down fairly easily. One kick or punch will do the trick. You can punch or kick them in the face, or you crouch and punch them in the balls. But since I'm honorable, I never use that move. You can also do a low kick, which I found very effective against some of the bosses, but more on them in a second. There are also knife throwers, snakes, magical dragons, confetti balls, moths, and my favorite, midgets to fight against. But these guys are spry. They could do spinning jumps at you. So unlike the huggers, they must have some kind of martial arts training. But in the end, instead of hitting you, they'll only hug you as well. You shake off your huggers by moving your joystick from right to left, and they'll die from the rejection of your embrace. You could just hear them as they're falling away. Why don't you want me? <laughs> I thought we were gonna be friends! <laughs> At the end of the hallways, there are bosses to fight. They are different on each floor you visit. Each of the bosses has different ways you really should attack them. But most of the time, the best strategy to do is to do a jump kick in the face. It'll take down half their life in one hit. The only exception to this is the magic using boss on the fourth level, which by the way is arguably the hardest boss in the game. You would think Mr. X would be the toughest, but no, he's a cakewalk next to this guy. Should you get to the top and defeat Mr. X, the game will start again at the bottom floor, but this time with faster enemies. When you rack up 50,000 points, you get an extra life, which is good, but after that you can't earn any more extra lives. I don't know why they don't just make it every 50,000 points you get an extra life. The game does get really hard later on, when the enemies won't stop coming at you while you're trying to fight the boss. Now there are two different game modes, A and B. A is for beginners and B is for experts. The only real difference is the speed in which the bad guys will come at you. There's also a two player option, but you can only play one at a time. Kung Fu is a lot more fun than you would expect, and it's definitely one that you'll come back to play. And if it ever comes to the virtual console, it's completely worth a buy. Yeah.